Hey there everyone, if you would like to install the latest and greatest Windows 11 Pro for Workstation and you are surprised that the setup that you have downloaded does not have it then not to worry guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can get Windows 11 Pro for Workstation so without further ado, let's get started let's open browser here now here I'm gonna type download Windows 11 ISO and the technique here is slightly different than conventional windows iso download because generally with conventional method we generally do not have this particular variant of windows now here do not choose windows 11 installation assistant until and unless you already have windows 10 for workstation and we also need to avoid this windows 11 installation media creation tool just go here in the bottom and then click on windows 11 multi edition iso for x64 device now click on download now and now here you need to let windows know of which particular language you are comfortable with let's go with english us now let's click on confirm and then again i would say it's up to you or the reason from where you belong now here you will find this download link let's click on that and now here we can see the process of download has begun and while this ISO is getting download let's talk about the prerequisite number two which is getting Rufus and actually there is a reason why we didn't went with Windows 11 installation media that do the same thing that Rufus do the difference here is in terms of the ISO the ISO here that we are downloading comes with a Windows 11 for workstation variant. However, when we go with this conventional Windows 11 installation media, generally we do not have a Windows 11 for workstation variant. Now let's go here and download Rufus. And from here you can download the latest variant of it. And not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide the download link of Rufus in the description of this video. Now let's wait for the while till ISO get downloaded. Okay, so there we go. Here we can see we have downloaded this ISO. Now let's run this Rufus first. Now here it is asking us to see the application updates online. Let's click on no. Now um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this ISO. Let me actually directly put it here. And obviously you can click on select and in this way as well uh, we can select this ISO now here you need to make sure that your partisan scheme needs to be GPT and the target need to be UEFI now everything will be as it is now you need to connect your pen drive here I can see my 32 gigabyte of pen drive is getting detected and uh, make sure that your pen drive is at least 8 gigabyte or more now simply click on start and then here you can see Rufus also allow you to remove the re requirement of TPM chip, secure boot and minimum amount of RAM. And not only that, it also remove requirement of having online account. So it's up to us. We can configure it based on our need. And actually, I would say it is really good news for those who are using processor older than 8th generation because the processor before 8th gen does not comes with TPM chip and because of that it is very difficult to install Windows 11 in those hardware so just make sure you enable this option so if you have a hardware that is too old or before 8th generation Intel Core processor then you must check this option so that you can install Windows 11 for workstation without any issue. Now, please also make sure that if you have any data available in your pen drive, make sure you take backup of it because once we start this process, the whole pen drive will get formatted and all existing data inside pen drive will get destroyed. Now, let's click OK and then again click OK. Now, here we can see Rufus have started doing its work and now we just need to wait for a while till rufus create bootable pen drive for us and there we go guys we can see now our bootable pen drive is ready and just you need to connect your pen drive to your system and then uh, simply click on next click on install now 
and then you will see the setup is starting and now here you can click on i don't have product key or if you have product key available you can enter your product key and now here you will see a windows 11 pro for workstation is available simply click on next so in this way guys we have successfully download and we can install windows 11 for workstation in our computer i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye